Joyce Greg, more than a dozen businesses are closed because of that boil water notice due to E. coli found in the water supply. But with no word when they can welcome customers back, it's having major impacts on the bottom line. Drive along Marine View Drive South and you'll keep seeing the same message. There's still a lot to do. Susie Horton, owner of Anti Irene's, staying busy, waiting on the word to reopen. Today came and went, and we don't know for tomorrow. We've just had no communication. I think that has been everyone's biggest frustration that I've talked to. Horton had to close the doors after King County Water District 54 detected E. coli in the water supply two days earlier. We were closed at noon on Sunday on Father's Day. Horton missing out on business for two holidays on top of the daily lines out the door as a local favorite. On a scale of 1 to 10, we run at 10 all day long because we are just that busy. But an empty restaurant costing Horton and her 18 employees major money. $35,000 minimum. My staff not getting paid their hourly wage, including their tips. She says that loss doesn't include the hundreds of pounds of food that had to be thrown out. Restaurants in the boiled water zone were closed by public health officials. The State Department of Health has to sign off before they can reopen. We're waiting for that moment that hasn't happened yet. Everything is literally done and we are all just waiting for that phone call. In the meantime, Horton is thankful for the outpouring of support from customers ready to come back in. We've really created a family here and I can't take care of that family right now and I'm so frustrated. <laughs> The district started chlorinating the water on Saturday. It suspects that this may have been caused by a water main break, but as of tonight, no word on when the boil water advisory could be lifted. For now, live in Des Moines, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.